come from the inside of the house. It sounded like the garage. I told the operator to hold on, and I put my phone in my pocket. I remember them urging me at the last second not to go investigating anything, but I felt like I knew what I was doing. I crept up to the door into the garage and put my ear up against it, but I didn't hear anything else. I wanted to check it visually, though, so I slowly opened the door. Suddenly the doorknob was ripped out of my hand and it flew open. The owner of the house was towering over me in the doorway, holding a huge knife. Before I had time to react, he grabbed me by the collar and yanked me over so that my face was within an inch of the blade. Then he started dragging me into the garage and over to the door into the cellar. Get in there, he said. And so I did, not knowing what else I could do. I was now climbing down into the horrifying darkness of the cellar with the man holding me at knife point a mere step behind me. When I got to the bottom, I strained to see, but there wasn't much down there, just a bunch of junk piled up in the corners. And in the middle, a camera on a tripod out of nowhere. I was kicked in the back and I fell to the ground. Don't get up, he said. The man commanded me as he walked over to the tripod and turned on the camera. Be adjusting it so it pointed at me. It's time for you to get paid, he said. Fifty dollars, right? I was too scared to say anything back. All I could do was nod then he grabbed a bag full of coins from a nearby shelf, opened it, then poured the entire thing on the ground in front of me. It looked to be fifty dollars all right, but its entirety was in quarters. Now pick it up, he said. I followed a command, starting to pick up each one by hand. No, no, not with your hands. Pick them up with your mouth and make sure the camera sees. I allowed a whimper as the tears of humiliation and fear started to well up. But I had no other choice. This guy was way too big for me to fight. I got on my knees and I bent over, kissing the filthy cellar floor until I managed to get one of the quarters between my teeth. At that point, confused and dreading what I knew he would say next, I looked up to him as if I asked, what now? Now eat them. Was it his response? I didn't think my heart could sink any lower into my stomach, but in that moment, it did. I whimpered again and let the quarter fall back onto my tongue. Then I forced myself to swallow it, nearly gagging as it went down. I looked up at the man again, about to plead with him to stop all of this, but he wasn't about that. Keep going until they're all gone. You want to get paid don't you? There was nothing I could do to challenge him. I just had to wait and hope that help would come. I didn't forget that my was still on with 911 in my pocket, but I had no idea how long it would take for them to get there. In truth, I think I was forced to eat about $10 worth of quarters before the cops started to bust into the house. As soon as the homeowner heard them coming, he turned tail and ran. It was too late, though. They had the whole house surrounded, and they got him right away. Then they eventually found me in the cellar, dry heaving, wretchedly and sobbing like a pitiful mess. Swallowing one quarter is fine. Maybe that'll pass through forty quarters, though that's a different story. I had to get taken to the hospital and put to sleep for surgery so they could clear the blockage. I was still finding change in the toilet bowl for weeks after that, which tends to put an unfortunate note of humor on my trauma from the experience. But I guess I can only cry about it or laugh about it, and I know which one I'd rather do. After all, I'm only alive because that dinosaur forgot how cell phones work. A few weeks ago, my neighbor asked me to dog sit at their house while they went out of town for a few days. My neighbor is a single woman who lives alone, and she jokingly told me that she adopted the dog, whose name is Bella, so she could have scary dog privilege, 
which was funny because the dog is completely blind. <laughs>